Hello everyone. A very good evening to all of you. Hope you all are doing great. Uh, as per the topics, as we have already mentioned, uh, let's start today's webinar. And today we will be start discussing about two important topics. And uh, one is the first that we are going to discuss is on Assam Vision 2030. And the second will be on Assam Tourism Policy, its important strategies. Okay, so without wasting time, let's begin today's session. So first, we are going to discuss about Assam Vision 2030. So the main, if we talk about Assam Vision, the main vision of Assam uh, set by the Assam government is to achieve all the sustainable development goals uh, that are total 17 in number okay so this is the main motive of Assam government uh, by 2030 uh, and apart from this uh, well-being of each and every citizen of our society and giving them self-sufficiency and also looking through all the sectors equally by not ignoring each and every citizen in our state so uh, this will be only possible if there is coordination among all the citizens with the state government and all the state departments working together in a feeling of brotherhood then only the assam vision 2030 will be a grand success for all so now uh, we will be discussing all these seven sustainable development goals actually these goals are the goals of the whole world actually so these are 17 in number and uh, the first one if we go start with the goal one goal one is uh, end poverty okay so uh, by reducing poverty by eradicating poverty from all corner of our society is the foremost important goal one under sustainable development goals which is under assam vision 2030 so definitely if there is complete eradication of poverty from our society, then only there will be prosperity, peace, harmony among all of us. So that's why uh, policies, our state government is implementing some of the important policies on food, shelter, even providing subsidized loans for the hardworking farmers of our society and equally providing, implementing some of the major welfare schemes for all. So here we can mention about one of the most important uh, state government schemes, uh, Orunodoy. I hope you all have heard about this uh, initiative. So Orunodoy is one of the most major schemes uh, which provides nutritional uh, as well as medical, uh, medical services uh, and support to all the BPL families of our state and presently it is uh, active, it is running in our state and almost have benefited major section of our society. So definitely end poverty is one of the major concern point of view of our state government. So this is goal one. Let's shift to goal two and goal two is end hunger. End hunger. So. Uh, and hunger will be possible only if uh, there is focus in providing safe drinking water facilities, nutritional support to all sections of our society, all right, and also uh, uh, eradicating malnutrition among children of our society and reducing uh, the malnutritional level from our society. So these are some of the points which must be focused under the second goal and uh, if if we go to goal three uh, ensure healthy lives ensure healthy lives is goal three under the 17 sustainable development goals so uh, if we talk about ensure healthy lives uh, the government of Assam has aimed to reduce the child and maternity uh, maternity mortality rate in all sector in all corner of our society and for this 
initiatives have already been taken to increase the number of medical colleges as well as primary health sectors, primary health units in each corner of our society so that these uh, units can provide upgraded uh, services relating to the medical line, medical line to uh, give a security to the health conditions of all the citizens of our society. So definitely uh, health concern, living a fit life is the main concern among all the citizens of our society which is now being completely focused under goal 3 that is ensure healthy lives. So these are the three goals. Now let's go to goal 4. Uh, goal 4 is quality education. So definitely education plays a major role in the progress of the entire economy. Okay, so if we talk about goal 4, recently a report has been published as uh, published by the National Statistical Office and this report was basically on household social consumption focusing in the education point of view and as per this report there is a very good news about our state that uh, as per this report the literacy rate of our state Assam has reached 85.9 percent so this is the percentage of literacy rate and it's a very good percentage related to the liter, uh, education sector and this is showing a good progress in our state related to education and if we talk about some of the schemes related to the education sector which is being presently implemented in our state we can say about uh, Sarva Siksha Abhyan okay so this provides easy access to schooling for both girls and boys uh, an equally focus is given to girls also and importance is given to students if they have completed the elementary school level they must not leave schooling after that stage they must continue their higher education uh, through this through, uh, through these schemes and apart from this uh, uh, if we go back to Assam budget last year uh, an important scheme or we can say initiative has been taken by the Assam government regarding the development of education sector of our state and the name of the scheme is Hunali Hoihop Rupali Patsala. So as per this scheme, the infra infrastructural facilities, uh, the classrooms, the construction of separate classrooms, uh, then as well as uh, uh, toilet facilities as well as safe drinking facilities all will be provided under the scheme major initiatives have already been taken and uh, under the scheme itself that is Hunali Hoihop Rupali Patsala another major initiative have been taken and that is Pratyaban we know that Pratyaban is a challenge isn't it so Pratyaban initiative has also been taken under the uh, education department and Pratyaban here relates to uh, the elementary schools or the government schools uh, suppose in a particular locality there are elementary government schools and as well as there are in that particular locality many best private institutions also so in order to uh, progress equally the elementary government schools as well as the private best private institutions so that they can both equally progress together so this initiative has been taken so that uh, our government state government elementary schools can equally progress with the best private institutions of a particular locality so this is Pratyaban and uh, uh, and around 200 elementary schools have been selected under this initiative so uh, this is about goal for quality education if we relate it with our own state government and so I am trying to discuss about some of the local schemes relating to the goals okay and now let's go, go to goal 5. So goal 5 is achieving gender equality. So achieving gender equality definitely uh, this goal uh, focuses on women empowerment, women empowerment, girls empowerment uh, from each and every corner of our society so that uh, 
along with the males, the female population also uh, succeed equally in all major fields like whether in the field of education or in the field of job management, managerial positions and all. So uh, for this, uh, uh, some important goals like reducing the infant mortality rate, maternal mortality rate, all has been focused by our state government and by 2030, the state government will try its best uh, to reduce these rates. And if we go, if we try to relate some of the schemes uh, which tries to uh, establish women empowerment in the society, we can relate some uh, uh, like Konoklota Mohila Habolikaran Asoni. So this is a wonderful scheme and initiative taken by the Assam government. And this scheme specially focuses in the uh, empowerment of women self-help groups. So women self-help groups, the women members are becoming self-dependent through these, through this wonderful scheme. And through this scheme, a block-wise uh, financial assistance are being also provided to all those existing women self-help groups and encouraging them further in producing their unique products. Uh, so, uh, and also helping the community resource persons like Jivika Hokis. Okay, so this is Konoklota uh, Mohila Habolikaran Asumi, Women Empowerment and basically focusing the upliftment of women self-help groups in our society. So the main thing is under this goal is that the uh, women must be given equal opportunities in all the field. They must raise their voice against any type of violence if they are facing in their life and for that women uh, women protection centers or women cells we can say must be established in each and every police stations of our society so that the women are feel safe and secure uh, in our society so this is this is uh, relating to goal five that is achieving gender equality now let's go to goal six and goal six under sustainable development goals uh, is clean water and sanitation. So definitely uh, clean supply of clean uh, safe drinking water is the urgent need of the hour because if the water is not safe then definitely this will hamper, this will affect the health conditions of the citizens of our society. So the state government is focusing on supplying safe drinking water facilities and also protecting, preserving and conserving all the water bodies of our state. So this is goal six, uh, that is clean water and sanitation. Let's go to goal seven. Goal seven is affordable and clean energy. So uh, as per this goal 7, uh, the government of Assam is aiming to provide electricity generation or power generation to each and every household of our society. All right. So if we relate a scheme as per this goal, we can say about Jyotishman Ohom scheme, Jyotishman Ohom Asuni. So as per the Jyotishman Ohom scheme, uh, the BPL families particularly are, are getting focused under this scheme and those BPL families whose monthly consumption of electricity is less than 30 units per month will be getting free electricity under this scheme. So another wonderful initiative uh, that is Jyotishman Ohom. Okay, and this we can relate to affordable and clean energy so that each and every household of our state gets continuous electricity supply in this particular region of the country. So apart from this under goal 7, uh, we can name some of the major power generation projects which are being presently running, ongoing in our state. Uh, we can name some like uh, Namrup replacement, uh, Namrup replacement power project, then a Namrup thermal power station, Lakwa replacement power project, 
uh, Lakwa Thermal Power Station and also we can mention about Karbi Langpi Hydroelectric Project which is located at Boitha Langso, Karbi Anglong and also about uh, Mintriang Small Hydroelectric Project which is located at Amtereng also Karbi Anglong. So uh, these are some of the ongoing projects and are many are there uh, which are being now implemented so that there is continuous energy supply to our state so that there is no any kind of shortage of energy or electricity in our state. So this is about goal 7 that is affordable and clean energy. So now let's go to goal 8 uh, under sustainable development goals set under Assam Vision 2030 and goal 8 is good jobs and economic growth. So definitely um, we have to accept that our state is progressing in the agricultural field, uh, in the industrial field or in the infrastructural development scenario. The, and, uh, it is progressing day by day, major projects are being taken by the state government uh, to develop the entire infrastructural outlook of our state. But apart from this, the per capita income of the population of our society as well as supplying uh, government uh, as well as supplying uh, job opportunities to the youths are the two major concern we can say so the government is trying to focus on these two major concerns so for this uh, already a wonderful policy has been initiated by the state government uh, we can discuss about it and it and that is Assam startup policy uh, I hope you all know the meaning of startup so Assam startup policy is a wonderful initiative to create Assam as entrepreneurial hub in the country to create a culture of entrepreneurship business minded people in our society so for this Assam startup policy is implementing presently in our state and definitely helping many entrepreneurs in fulfilling their dreams into reality so we can relate some of the schemes like swami vivekananda youth empowerment yojana this scheme is also benefiting many of the entrepreneurial group members of our society so that they can establish their entre entrepreneurial businesses itself in our state itself in our home place they no need to have go, they no need to cross, uh, they no need to go outside the state and establish their businesses. So the state government is implementing this scheme so that they can stay in their home place and start their own startup businesses. For this again financial, uh, uh, financial assistance is being provided under the scheme to each of the entrepreneur entrepreneurial group members that is Swami Vivekananda Youth Empowerment Yojana all right so uh, again to uh, to uh, make the youth to make the youth self-dependence uh, we can talk about another scheme mentioned in the Assam budget of last year that is Yuva Aruhan Yuva Aruhan the word itself implies that Yuva the youth so in order to implement this scheme, uh, syllabus update that means including entrepreneurship as a compulsory subject from class 11 standard itself to up to uh, 3 years degree courses is now another initiative to promote self-dependency, to promote entrepreneurship in our state. So whether degree courses relate to all kind of streams even ITIs, polytechnics, all students will be able to uh, go through to know the subject of entrepreneurship. And apart from this, under Yuva Aruhan, another initiative that is a uh, nano entrepreneurial grant will be provided to the students so that they can take up their entrepreneurial dreams. So can take up, they can establish their businesses and turn them and transform them that means their dreams into reality through this nano that means small entrepreneurial grant which will be provided by the state government to the young minds that is to the students so this is about uh, goal 8 uh, 
which is promoting entrepreneurship in our state and now let's go to goal 9 and goal 9 under sustainable development goals uh, is industry innovation and infrastructure industry innovation and infrastructure so definitely we have seen uh, that infrastructural development, industrial development is taking place in each and every corner of our society, of our state, and uh, which is also contributing in new innovative ideas, new innovations uh, towards the development of the economy. So uh, under this, we can uh, say, we can mention about one of the important policy that has been implemented by our state and that is act is policy okay so act is policy is basically that policy which is focusing in establishing infrastructure as well as investments uh, by developing all the national highways of our region so that so that our uh, state uh, gets the opportunity to connect with the Southeast Asian nations, our neighboring countries and even the ASEAN countries so that our trade relations, export, import businesses can also grow very soon. Already it is contributing, still far has to go and so ACTIS policy is being presently implemented in our state. Relating to tourism uh, destinations of our state, whether pre-booking facilities of not only domestic tourists, even international tourists, uh, they can give or uh, they can get all the facilities relating to pre-booking facilities uh, for uh, hotels or homestays. Okay, so all these informations will be uh, get together, bring together in a particular website. So this is the first strategy of Assam Startup Policy, and that is Assam Tourism website. Now. Uh, the second strategy of uh, Assam tourism uh, policy is brand building. So I hope we all are familiar with this. You all are familiar with this brand building process. So what do I mean by brand building? So brand building is uh, to, sh uh, to, showcase, to showcase the unique richness of a particular place. So here already we, our state has a wonderful brand name and that is Awesome Assam. Okay, so major initiatives have been in the past taken uh, to promote the tourism through brand building process of our state. Uh, so yet more are to be taken like giving advertisements in the leading newspapers, not only local newspapers, even national newspapers. Social media can also here act as a wonderful step uh, towards uh, showcasing our richness and uh, also uh, publishing advertisements relating to our state on flight magazines on airways magazines okay so these are some of the uh, initiatives uh, under the second strategy that is brand building now let's go to the third strategy and that is transit tourism so transit tourism transit means the pass that uh, from one place to another when one passes so that is known as transit so uh, this is transit uh, tourism that means when as we all know that Guwahati is the gateway of the entire northeastern region of our country so any tourist when first visit northeast their first maximum uh, maximum times their first uh, uh, location is Guwahati so they stay here for a while and then uh, in many cases they travel to other regions of this part so the tourism department must utilize this opportunity uh, during their stays in this particular place that is Guwahati before they transit to the neighboring parts of the region so by in this period when they stay in this particular region uh, the tourism department along with private tourist institutions they can provide these tourists a tour package isn't it so this will directly contribute in the development of our economy also so this is about transit tourism now uh, let's go to the fourth uh, point that is uh, uh, spiritual tourism this is another important strategy under assam tourism policy that is spiritual tourism and uh, uh, we all know that in our 
in our state uh, every year uh, every year uh, there are the uh, uh, various festivals there are various festivals which are being conducted in our uh, state every year so at that time tourists from different places of our country visit uh, to fill this religious uniqueness religious culture of our state more closely so during that time of the visit of the tourists during these festivals uh, infrastructural development must be grown very fast in order to provide them uh, uh, in order to provide them accommodation in order to provide the tourists their staying facilities so that while their stays in our state uh, they must feel a homely environment and when they go back to their home place they carry a good memory from our state so this is spiritual tourism and if we go to the next strategy uh, that is ethnic tourism so we all know that in our state there are many ethnic groups which are which have their unique traditions which have their unique culture uh, their dress patterns everything is very rich so uh, in order to work for the welfare and upliftment of uh, ethnic communities of our state, the tourism department uh, of our state is focusing uh, to showcase their culture, uh, whether their food or uh, their handicrafts. Okay, so this will be only possible by giving them scope in participating in some of the festivals cultural festivals of our society so uh, this is about ethnic tourism uh, so we have discussed uh, some of the strategies of Assam tourism policy now let's go to the next strategy and that is wildlife tourism so this is another important strategy of under Assam uh, tourism policy wildlife tourism so uh, as we know that there are the national parks and wildlife sanctuaries uh, in our state. Uh, so uh, tourists from each and every corner of the world visit these natural places to fill these, the nature more closely. So for this, the tourist, tourism department under this policy is focusing uh, to build high quality of tourist facilities like homestays as we have discussed previously homestays where tourists will be able to stay okay so homestays are basically um, uh, a homely environment where they get all the facilities from their stays till food facilities accommodations everything and homestays are particularly located in rural and semi-urban areas of our state so an important scheme is related to homestays of our state that is Amar Alohi, Amar Alohi scheme. So Amar Alohi scheme is related to the uh, to homestays uh, of our state which will directly help and provide facilities to the domestic and international tourists of our, uh, from across the world. So this is about wildlife tourism and uh, if we go to the next strategy uh, that will be river tourism so uh, river tourism uh, initiatives have already been taken by the state government and we can talk about a recent project which has been recently inaugurated that means last year and that is ropeway connectivity in the Guwahati city which connects Guwahati to North Guwahati so ropeway connectivity is wonderful initiative which is attracting tourists from across the nation and uh, so this is also contributing in river tourism over the mighty river Brahmaputra and also uh, more numbers of cruises are being implemented in our state uh, so that the tourists can spend their holidays uh, in the international level of luxury through these cruises and this will definitely grow the river tourism of our society also and along with it the ferry services the cargo services must also be given equal focus so this is under river tourism 
So now let's go to another strategy under Assam tourism uh, policy. Uh, this is adventure tourism. So adventure, so sports is related with this strategy, adventure tourism. So definitely this is another wonderful strategy under this policy. And under this strategy, uh, coordination must be done between the tourism department and also the sports authority of our state so that they can implement some of the activities which is related to the sports like we can name some like uh, trekking trekking facilities then cycling uh, boat boat uh, then we can say uh, water sports boat will be included under water sports and uh, even rock climbing okay so all kind of uh, uh, adventure tourism uh, like golf we can include golf also so all these are included under adventure tourism so that during their stays during their visits that means tourist visits they can utilize this moment wonderfully by also engaging themselves in the adventures adventural activities of our state so this will only be possible if the tourism department along with the sports authority will coordinate with each other and further work for the benefit of the entire society of our state. So uh, these are some of the strategies of Assam tourism policy. So I hope uh, you have, uh, I hope you have caught the point, you have understood the points and so so uh, that's all for today i hope this session will be will benefit uh, you all in your upcoming exam and wish you all a very good luck uh, for your coming examination thank you all